Hello and welcome to the channel. The Premier League title race is getting pretty interesting, isn't it? There's still three clubs in it, I think only two points separating them, and we're not that far left of the Premier League season. I was going to say championship, I've become too used to talking about that. So I figured I would get experts on Liverpool, Manchester City and Arsenal in to discuss exactly what they think is going to happen throughout the rest of the title race and who's going to win the Premier League. So, going to go through it one by one, then go through some of the bigger questions, have a wider chat, and hopefully we'll come to a conclusion, but I feel like everyone's going to keep back in their own side. If you like the video at any point, by the way, just drop a like, subscribe, that'd be fantastic. And I'm going to start off by discussing Manchester City with Brendan. How are you doing? I'm good, thanks. How are you? I, I'm okay. How, how does it feel being a fan of a club that keeps winning every single time it tries, except this one season you're not? Is it a little bit more stressful? No, I think I think to be honest, last year took a lot of it off. But it would be very nice to um to shut up Arsenal and Liverpool on their farewell tour for club, you know. Well, you say that, but the thing is, we can't shut up Arsenal and Liverpool just yet. And in order to prove it, I'm going to bring in our Liverpool discussant. Hello, Henry. How's it going? Last time you were here, you were talking about Bournemouth. Are, are, yes. are, you, are you lost or what, what's, what's going on there? <laughs> no, yeah, of course, I write about Liverpool and they are top of the Premier League right now, but it's not completely convincing. They beat Nottingham Forest with their latest ever Premier League winner in the last match with what was called a monumental error by Mike Dean. Of course, they have been had lots of injuries in the last few weeks, especially Salah, Alisson, lots of key names like that. A lot of them are coming back. Salah's on the bench tonight in the Europa League. So I think with those injuries coming back, they can really push City into the back end of the season. That's one person that hasn't been shut up by Brendan Smack Talk. Let's get to the other one, who is our Arsenal fan. Hello, Delight. How's it going? I'm doing good. How are you doing? I'm, I'm all right, thanks. How are you feeling about Arsenal's chances at potentially winning the Premier League? Is it looking like for the first time in what feels like forever, there is actually a chance? Or is it a little bit a little bit ropey, a little bit not likely to happen? Yeah, definitely feeling good after the last two months, especially after the finals and six nils that we've been doing in the last month or so. So the general feeling along the fan uh, fan club is that we are cautiously optimistic at the moment. So hoping for some things to go our way towards the end of the season. Bit of a weird individual question for you. Do you put any stock into beating Sheffield United 6-0? Does that really count or should we just ignore all of their results? Because they, they just let everyone do that. It doesn't count, does it really? I actually think that 6-0 uh, was not a good scoreline for us. I was expecting more like 8 or 9-0 because we, were, we scored six before the 60-minute mark. So it is what it is, I guess. You'll, you'll have to settle with just the six. But ultimately, we're not here to discuss the individual clubs. We're here to talk about the big questions. So I'm just going to welcome everyone else back. Hello, everyone. How are we feeling? Are we especially stressed by the way that our clubs are playing recently? Or are we feeling somewhat okay with the way that it's going? I will start with Brendan. What do you think are the biggest bumps in the road for Man City at the moment? What's Where's the stumbling blocks? Where are Man City potentially going to lose this title race? And where are they going to be okay? Um, there's probably two things really is, is one out of the three clubs they probably have the worst fixture list um, I think they have to play Spurs away uh, Liverpool away this weekend Arsenal at home um, a few other tough games in there I believe there might be another Aston Villa game um, the other big big problem for them is that they're conceding a bit too much on the counter-attack um, people obviously know that we like to concede to the first shot of the game that we have against us. But it, it's been worse. It's been worse this season. Uh, we're conceding a lot more in transition. Which probably not the best thing to do when you keep the ball all of the time. When it comes to the big bumps in the road, I'm going to go to our resident Arsenal Thunder Light right now. What do you think is potentially going to trip Arsenal up? Because something that I was eyeing up was the fact that there's not really any trophy winning experience here. What? Do, would you sort of agree with that thought? Um, to some extent, but I think uh, whatever happened last year would have definitely helped the squad to gain a little more experience. Of course, we are not as experienced as the Man City squad or even the Liverpool squad. But I personally feel like our uh, away form in the big games this season is a little bit of a concern. And considering the fact that 
we still have to face uh, man city tottenham and uh, man united away from home i think those might be the tricky games this season so that would probably be the biggest bump in my opinion calling manchester united away a difficult game is very <laughs> charitable this season I, but... I didn't say it's a difficult game i said it's a tricky game so fair let's that, that's fair that. enough yeah um now on to Liverpool. Currently, I think off the top of my head, sat at the top of the table. Are they? I can't quite remember. They are one point, yeah. I've I've paid so little attention to the Premier League this season that it's genuinely concerning. Um, what's the bump in there? What stops Liverpool from just going on a run and securing the title at this point? I mentioned it earlier. It just has to be injuries. Of course, they've had some big returners: uh, Salah coming back, Sobislai coming back. They've still got Alisson out until at least after the international break. Same with Trent Alexander-Arnold. And it's actually um, very evergreen right now. Canate's gone off injured in the game that's going on as we record this. So, of course, we don't know the extent of that injury. But if that's a big injury, that could really damage their season. Jarrell Quinza, he's been very good. He's impressed this season. But losing Canate could be the biggest blow, especially with Manchester City at the weekend. I think that's potentially going to be one of the matches that decide things. But with all of the clubs dropping points here and there this time, I think what every club's going to need to do is they're going to need to rely quite a lot on their key players. So I want in one word from each of you, well, I say one word, I'll say a name and a short sentence of like 10-ish words. Who's the key player and why are they so important? And I'm going to go the other way around this time. So Henry, get us started. Uh, Virgil van Dijk, especially, as I just said, Canate being out, van Dijk's leadership could be crucial to this title race. Okay, delight for Arsenal? I would like to say Saliba. I think losing him last season was probably the turning point in the season. And uh, we have been defensively probably the best team in the league so far this season. So I think losing him would be a big blow. We've had a trend of centre back so far. I don't know if Brendan's going to break it. What? Give me a key player. It's, it's, it's obvious for me. It's Rodri, um, best best centre back. Ba- ba- basically a centre back. Basically a centre back. Mm, he he likes to attack a lot. Um, big thing for me is, um, I think it's over a year now. It's about fifty three weeks unbeaten in club or international fixtures. You just can't really argue against that. I think it was 60 matches I saw, which is absolutely bonkers to be doing that, and that shows sort of how important he is. Another quick question, and then I'm going to reveal something to you guys. So what is the biggest twist that you can see coming? I will start with Delight this time. We'll change things up. We'll start in the corner down there. (laughs) Maybe if Spurs pick up some form, uh, I think they have all of the big teams yet to go, so they could be a team that uh, changes things up. If if Ange remembers how to play football, remembers to get that early season form if, going again. If their defensive problems uh, sort themselves out in the future, I guess. Yeah, Brendan, what are you thinking? Uh, I was I was also going to go for Spurs. I think they could they could really decide the title, and um, more than that, they could quite easily climb over Aston Villa, um, and they, they could do it this weekend. Pretty much, they'd. Have a game in hand, but um, but you have to presume they'll win that. I think, and if they win over Villa, then you know, then there's no gap really. Yeah. And Henry, would you agree that Spurs are basically the landmine that every single club is just waiting to stand on? Because I know that they keep getting results against Man City somehow, but whether or not that converts against Arsenal, who, which is a big rivalry, and Liverpool, who tend to be looking fairly consistent. Do you think they're the big problem to look out for? It's very true, but I think it's going to be in their own club's hands to get themselves out of this title race. We saw it uh, last season with Arsenal. They sort of uh, self-destructed, really. I think that it's not going to be up to other clubs. Arsenal and Liverpool can absolutely stay in this title race till the end of the season. It's just up to them. That sounds about fair. Now... Previously, when I was laying out what all of the banners were for this uh, little discussion that we're having, I had the final thing as predictions. Who do you think is going to win the Premier League? Change of plan. Persuade me. I'm going to sit back. I'm going to let you guys have a quick discussion. 
And whoever puts forward the best argument, sure, I'll get behind you to win the Premier League. Henry, get us started. Persuade me. And if anyone has any points that they want to argue against, just just chime in. Let, let, let's get a bit crazy here. <laughs> um, I apologise to Liverpool fans watching this, but I don't think with the injuries they're going to manage to hold out till the end of the season. I think it's going to be Manchester City. I think that Arsenal have shown a lot of firepower recently, but I just think City and Pep Guardiola will manage to hold it on till the end of the season, basically. Not where I expected that to go, Brent. <laughs> um, well, I'm I'm sort of torn as well. Um, I I want to say that we'll do it. Um, we've got the experience. Um, you know, you've got De Bruyne is back in form now, but probably more importantly, it doesn't matter when he's when he's not because Foden seems to be the guy now in that final third. Um, I think if we can just get Haaland maybe scoring his tap-ins, then I don't really see who can stop us. I think. I think if we beat if the big test is is this weekend. If if we beat Liverpool, then I think it it it, it really puts it straight in our hands because it's not just the points. But I mean, you know, going to Spurs away, having beaten them earlier in the cup, and then having done Liverpool at Anfield. I mean, I think that would be it. The experience would be too much for a team like Arsenal. That's fair enough. Delight. If the experience is too much for a team like Arsenal, what what have you got to fight back? Um, I think we are more of a team than the other two in the fact that uh, a lot of people are contributing with the goals. And uh, as I said before, we are the best defensive team in the league. And over the last two months, we have shown that we can do it in front of goal as well. So in Manchester City's case, uh, Haaland and Foden probably contribute to about 70% of the goals, or at least that has been the case this season. Whereas... Uh, if you look at Arsenal, uh, Saka is scoring goals, Havertz is scoring goals now. Uh, you get contributions from Trossard, Martinelli and Odegaard. So I think even if we do uh, get an injury or two, we may be able to manage over the next two months. Uh, but uh, as Brendan said, it is uh, splitting hairs at the moment. Any team can win it. But I, I prefer Arsenal's uh, situation at the moment. Uh, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. So we've got two saying City, we've got one saying Arsenal. I think, I don't know where I land yet. Brendan, you look like you've got something to say. You look made of thought, yeah. you look confused, which I know is like a natural state of affairs for you sometimes. It but is, uh... what what's the thought behind the confusion? I was I was just trying to remember, because I, I can swear there's um, a postponed Liverpool-Arsenal game to be played, but I can't tell if that's me um, thinking things up. But that, that would really... Um, obviously change things but I mean you think if Arsenal go above them they've got goal difference on hand so really I, I I think at the moment the big thing is Liverpool have so much firepower that it I just can't see us walking out of Anfield you know having not conceded can't see other teams doing the same but if Arsenal can beat them there or we can beat them then you know Arsenal have the goal difference and I, I, I'd fancy us against Arsenal at home at the Etihad. I'd really fancy us to do them over. I've just had a quick look. Liverpool do not have Arsenal remaining this season. So Yeah, we played them can, in January. I think. Oh, yeah. 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 As far as I can I tell... Think United. Maybe. May, yeah, or they I'm have they have a trip to Old Trafford to do as well. Yeah, yeah. But... As far as I can tell, and off the top of my head, this is still true. There's only three teams this season that haven't lost at home yet. There's City, there's Liverpool, and that's interesting. There's Leeds. Um, but do we think either of the two Premier League clubs involved there, do you think either of those lose at home? And will that be sort of decisive as to whether or not they win the title? Will a single loss at home sort of throw the momentum off, having a look at who they've got so I'd say Liverpool's hardest match at home for the rest of the season has to be City City have Arsenal at home they've also got Villa who not the biggest threat but uh, they also then have Luton should be a piece of piss let's be honest uh, Wolves West Ham and that's it so I, I genuinely think that those records probably stay intact yeah it's, it's surely away from really I mean the big games uh, for us are, are the away ones. You think, yeah, as you say, our record against clubs like Aston Villa at home is great. As uh, I remember that um, 
game a couple of years back on final day. It's a nice memory to have. Um, yeah, I think it's the away games for everyone involved. I, I think you, you, when you see all three clubs playing at home, you do see that there is a, a that everyone does sort of play a bit better. There's more energy, and when things go wrong, they turn it around quicker. It's much harder to do that away. Yeah. So, starting here, then going down, then down again, and back. One word. Who's winning the title? Manchester City. The guns. Go on, City. I'll bring a bit of balance. I'll say Liverpool. Anyway, I know they've not been part of the discussion. We might as let's just look unbiased. In reality, though, probably City. Anyway, I'm going to leave that discussion there. Hope everyone enjoyed. If you did, like, subscribe, comment, all that stuff. These guys are potentially going to be on the channel a fair bit more because we're just sort of expanding out, covering more clubs. So I hope you enjoyed that. Any last word from anyone? Watch this weekend. I think this it, that game will decide the title race. Fingers crossed we get a draw in that game. Just hoping Haaland sc can score his tap-ins this Sunday. That's all I want. And that'll do it. Hope you enjoyed. I will see you later.